Here's the book we'll be reading, Mr. Putter and Tabby Write the Book. And this is a story about a man and his cat, and they um, have to stay inside and find things to do. And so it's a good story to read right now while we're all trying to find things to do inside. And this is a funny book. Chapter 1, An Idea. In the winter, a big snow always came to Mr. Putter's house. There are Mr. Putter and Tabby. Mr. Putter and his fine cat, Tabby, liked big snows, but they couldn't go out in them. They were too old. Mr. Putter might slip and break something. Tabby might catch a bad cold. There they are watching everybody else outside. They didn't mind staying in, though, because Mr. Putter's house was so cozy. It had nice soft chairs. It had velvet pillows. It had a fireplace. Staying in was all right when everything was so soft and velvety and warm. And look at Mr. Putter with his feet up by the fire. One day, when Mr. Putter and Tabby were inside for a big snow, Mr. Putter got an idea. His idea was to write a book. Look at Tabby. <laughs> Mr. Putter looks excited. Tabby, not so sure. He had everything a writer needed. A soft chair, a warm fire, and a good cat. And he had a pen and plenty of paper. I have always wanted to write a mystery novel, Mr. Putter said to Tabby. <laughs> so he brought out lots of paper, lit the fire, plumped his chair, and got ready to begin. First, he had to think of a title. He thought and thought and thought. Finally, he told Tabby, I shall call my book The Mystery of Lighthouse Cove. <laughs> Look at Tabby. It was a very good title. It was full of mystery. As a boy, he had read lots of books with titles like that. <laughs> There's a picture of him when he was just a boy. And that book is called The Mystery of Moose Island. <laughs> Mr. Putter was so pleased he decided to fix a snack. He went into the kitchen and fixed a big apple salad, a pan of corn muffins, some custard pudding, and a cheese ball. Hmm. Mr. Putter spent three minutes on his title and four hours on his snack. <laughs> Tabby, again, is not so sure. Chapter, cha <laughs> chapter two, chapter one. Oh, then he took a nap. Mystery writing was not easy work. There's Tabby's tail. Chapter two, chapter one. On the second day that he was a mystery writer, Mr. Putter had a nice long breakfast with Tabby of oatmeal and tea. Then he settled down to write again. But first he had to stoke the fire. Stoking a fire means to put more wood in the fire and make sure it keeps burning and it stays warm. Then he had to clean Tabby's ears. Then he had to find a sweater. <laughs> then he had to move his chair. Tabby doesn't like that. Closer to the window. Then he had to move it back. <laughs> I love the illustrations in here. Then he settled down again. He was ready to write. Mr. Putter looked at the walls and he thought. He thought and thought and thought. Finally, he wrote chapter one. He began to think some more. As he was thinking, he looked out the window. A rabbit was in the yard. Such a nice rabbit, Mr. Putty, Mr. Putter said to Tabby. 
The rabbit made him think of Easter, and Easter made him think of boiled eggs. And Easter is coming up for us too, not just in the story. He decided to fix a snack. He went into the kitchen and fixed 20 boiled eggs and a vegetable stew. I love how Tabby is always just not sure what is happening. Mr. Putter spent one minute on chapter one and three hours on eggs and stew. Then he took a bath. <laughs> then he took a nap. Mystery writing wore him out. Chapter three, good things. The third day that he was a mystery writer, Mr. Potter woke up ready to write again. He liked being a writer ready to write. <laughs> he, first he and Tabby had cinnamon toast and tea. Then Mr. Putter petted Tabby and began to think. He looked out of his window, thinking. He looked at his fire, thinking. He looked at Tabby, thinking. <laughs> Mr. Putter thought how blue the sky was. He thought how warm the fire felt. He thought how nice it was to be with Tabby. He thought about so many good things that he began to write them down. There he is, there he is writing those things down. Good things is the name of his list. Yellow cats, old sweaters, cinnamon toast, long baths, good dogs, and rain. <laughs> he wrote and wrote and wrote. Mr. Putter wrote all day long. When he finally stopped writing, the big snow had melted. Mr. Putter went next door with Tabby to visit Mrs. Teaberry and her good dog, Zeke. And there's the rabbit. <laughs> and a bird. They had some French fried butternut squash for supper. There's the good dog, Zeke, wagging his tail. Then Mr. Putter read good things, his list to Mrs. Teaberry. When he finished, Mrs. Teaberry said it was enchanting. She said Mr. Putter was a wonderful writer. She said she could listen forever. Look at the cat and the dog are listening too. I wanted to write The Mystery of Lighthouse Cove, Mr. Putter said sadly, but I wrote good things instead, and I ate too much and took too many naps. Mrs. Teaberry told him not to worry. She said the world is full of mystery writers, but writers of good things are few and far between. Mr. Putter did not feel so sad then. He did not feel sad at all. In fact, he was thrilled. Every writer loves a good review. To celebrate good reviews and good neighbors, Mr. Putter took Mrs. Teaberry and Tabby and Zeke out for vanilla malts. There they are. Getting their, oh, ice cream. Even Tabby and Zeke are eating something. <laughs> there they are. And Mr. Putter had so much fun. He thought and thought of so many good things that he could not wait for the next big snow. So he could be a writer again. The end.